The charges against a capital murder suspect have been dropped and now friends are fuming over the death of a taxi cab driver in San Antonio. Now, friends of the murder victim say that prosecutors failed. They tell the night team's Patty Santos that their calls for justice are being ignored. I'm disappointed, I'll be honest, with the police that from day one. A friend of Adam Searcy, Fatima Lea, is furious with the Bear County District Attorney's Office and Wincrest Police for the release of a suspect believed to be involved in his 2019 shooting death. I felt like the District Attorney's Office slapped me in the face and slapped all of the Somali community in the face. On January 17, 2019, Searcy was shot to death while parked in the lot of a Wincrest thrift store. Police believe he was the victim of an attempted robbery. Online court records show capital murder charges against Baldemar Hinojosa were dropped last week due to insufficient evidence. His October 2021 arrest affidavit named two other individuals. The affidavit said investigators had DNA evidence of one person who linked Hinojosa and another man to the shooting. Video of a white Kia soul at the scene and a shell casing that linked this shooting to a gun used in a previous incident. In a statement, the DA's office said this case can be refiled at a later time with more evidence. Wincrest police could not discuss the case but said the investigation is ongoing. The killer is walking the street and tomorrow they can kill whatever they need. Searcy's former roommate wants justice for his hardworking friend. That guy is a happy man, helps the people, he likes, enjoy, every time he's happy loving anyone know the adam when the day he, he passed away we go to the grave they're crying because they lost friends he came to the u.s to provide for his family three children and a village in somalia that was our patty santos reporting now if you have any information that could help close this case Call the Wincrest Police Department. As you said, as you heard them say, this investigation is still ongoing. That number 210-655-2666.